The DJI Avata is one of my favorite drones the DJI has ever made. But it's got one problem that I really do not like, and it's the sound of this thing. It is really loud and it's very high pitched. For myself, I don't really mind, but when I'm flying a drone and there's people nearby or around, I really don't want to annoy them. And this thing, quite frankly, is really annoying. So about a week ago, my friend sent me this PDF article about a study that they did at MIT where they actually tested out this newish type of propeller called a toroidal propeller. And if you don't know, basically what it is, is that it's a propeller where the ends of the blades actually join up. And what this essentially does is create better vortices within the airflow around the propellers. And it supposedly makes them a lot more efficient and a lot quieter and everything we want from drones. And if you look here, we've got these two graphs. And this basically shows with a standard DJI propeller, looks like a Phantom 4 propeller, so I'm assuming that's what they used. They have these noise levels, and over here they have their toroidal propellers, and you can see it's a much lower noise, uh, noise level on the toroidal propellers. So as soon as I saw this, I thought about how it would benefit the drones I use. And if you look at something like the Mavic 3 here, I'm not sure this is the best use case for it because we've already got these folding propellers which make it really easy to pack away and set up really quickly. And if you use toroidal propellers on here, I think you would have to have them detachable and you would have to attach them every time you want to use the drone. So I'm not sure if the benefits would outweigh that convenience of having the foldable propellers. But if you look at the Avata, which happens to be super noisy, We've actually got these propellers which are not foldable, they're always out and they're in these ducts. So I think for this, if the toroidal propellers work, then this is a really big game changer for DJI props going forward. So what I have here is a toroidal propeller that somebody else has designed online. I'll put their name on screen now. And essentially what it is, is it's a toroidal propeller designed for the DJI Avata. So it should just screw on like the other propellers. And fortunately they did it because I don't know how to draw this thing. <laughs> but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a bunch of these. We're going to put it on the Avata and we're going to compare the performance as well as the noise levels with the two different propellers and see what we get. So we've got our 3D printed toroidal propellers here and they're a bit rough because this design is particularly difficult to print but I think they're not bad and I'm going to tidy them up with the Dremel to get them a lot smoother than they are and you can see they've got a decent amount of flex which is nice because most propellers aren't super rigid you can see even these Avata propellers do bend quite a lot so yeah I really don't know how this is going to go, but there's only one way to find out. So I've sanded down the toroidal propellers, so now they're a lot smoother. But what I'm going to do before flying with those is I'm going to do a test run with the stock propellers. And I'm going to use an app to measure the frequency transform and the decibels. So we can compare the sound not only by actually listening, but with real data. So we've got the toroidal propellers on here now. They actually look pretty cool, if you can see that. So I haven't actually put the screws on because they fit on really tight. And these holes are actually a bit too long for the screws. But we're just going to take it off and see what happens. I'm very curious to even see if it flies properly because I'm a little nervous. Well, it does fly. I don't think the propellers were slipping at all. Um, yeah. So if we look at the two tests side by side, you'll see that the toroidal propellers are louder with the higher decibel reading, 
but they do have more noise in the lower frequencies as you can see on the Fourier transform which gives them a lot lower pitched of a sound and to me it honestly sounds better. I'm going to play them side by side now so you can hear the difference. To get another performance test, I decided to take them outside and give them another run. Got the Avata out here and right now it's got the stock propellers on it. And we're just going to do a base run with the stock propellers and see how loud that is and what readings we get. And then I'm going to switch over to the toroidal propellers and see how it does. So I've got the toroidal propellers on now and it's time to see if these are better at all, whether it's with sound, frequency, flight time, etc. So once again, we actually get the same results. The toroidal propellers are slightly louder in decibels, but they have a more pleasing low frequency sound. So I think this is a pretty promising result. I'm gonna play them side by side again. So to sum it up, I think this is actually a pretty good proof of concept to test out these propellers. I need to stress that these are not the type of propellers you would actually use. You would really want injection molded plastic ones that are designed and optimized by DJI for the Avata. But with the nicest sounding propellers that I got, despite them being really super rough, I think there's a lot of hope for this and I think DJI should definitely look into this for the Avata. In terms of actual performance, because my propellers were so rough, I was getting a lot worse thrust from them as well as lower flight time. But like I said, I think if they were optimized for the Avata, this could actually be a big upgrade that we could see in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna put another video on screen now about the Avata if you wanna check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.